what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about the recent interview jason blum had today sitting down with uh fandom entertainment he disclosed tidbits and the definitive reason why we haven't gotten a trailer when we could expect to get the trailer for halloween kills and he's talked about a plethora of other things but we're just going to focus on the halloween kills trailer and my thoughts on that and what i think this means for the film going forward so as we all know halloween kills is still set to be released on october 16th of this year jason blum reinforced that in the interview he had uh 3c films was actually featured in it he didn't talk about halloween kills i just wanted to again mention the fact that 3c films was involved in it shout out to 3c films subscribe to his channel um and then he went on to talk about how the trailer for halloween kills someone asked him when could we expect the trailer for halloween kills to drop and of course he has heard that question a thousand times and he's been dodging it but if you have that question come up he's going to direct directly answer it now so we are not going to get anything until universal is 100 percent certain of when and how they're going to be able to release this movie so while october 16th is still the scheduled release date that again is subject to change depending on the climate we're in in the coming months depending on what's going on in the world depending on how the outbreak is going depending on the level of control whether it has to do with shutdowns any other implications that may hinder a theatrical release or just an overall income putting this movie out which i'm pretty sure they want to make a, a if not more than what they made from the last one because if i'm not mistaken halloween 2018 is the highest grossing slasher movie um at the box office right now currently it holds that record and they want to of course outdo that outperform what they did with the 2018 film so with all that in mind that adds on to why their little universe will be a little bit hesitant to just go ahead and release want to have trailers released blumhouse also wanted to have trailers released if the release date of october 16th 2021 is subject to change which we know if this is a very fluid situation in the reality we're living in right now they're not going to want to put a trailer out start up the campaign and then come september a few weeks ahead of schedule or a few weeks ahead of the release pull the plug and say oh halloween kills we're delayed till october next year but hey you know the promotion in the campaign was fun see you guys next year they they don't want to do that they don't want to build build up all this hype unless they know for certain the movie's going to come out my reaction to this is if they know for a fact the movie is coming out in less than a month before it's released we it's it's a very good chance i it's i've never seen a movie done do this actually i have i've seen a movie do this i think crawl did this if i'm not mistaken crawl's trailer came out just a few short weeks before it came out I might be mistaken in mixing up with another movie, but it's very rare that a movie puts its trailer out like a month or a few weeks before its release, um, especially if it's going to theaters. And especially if you have like a backing like with, 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 with Halloween Kills and the Halloween franchise in general, the character of Michael Myers and how iconic it is. Um, we could potentially be looking at us not getting the trailer till September or August possibly the earliest late july i don't think we're getting the trailer this month a lot of people were thinking we were going to get it this month uh talking about it coming out tomorrow that's of course been shot in the foot with jason blum that's been that's been brought to a complete halt with this interview he had today with phantom entertainment the likelihood of us getting the trailer this summer is kind of moderate the earliest i think we'd get it is late july the after that the soonest i can see us getting it is late august late august early september just in time for a theatrical release which is a month away um and it'll be really really interesting to see what they do because then if, at that point they'll probably already have a decision made on what they're doing we'll probably find out tidbits of the fact that if, the, if it does come out like a month before it's released we could be looking at two situations a situation where it's going to have a limited theatrical release and then it's just going to go straight to vod it might not go to theaters at all it might just go straight to vod and they might do something very interesting to of course maximize the amount they could get at the box office from vod uh sales 
but also keeping in mind that when you have a movie that is released on VOD, you're heightening the chances of you not getting a return in profit due to due to the piracy that's going to go on. But in my honest opinion, I feel like certain movies such as this, I feel like this movie is going to make if it went straight to VOD something i i just don't know i have a pretty good feeling it would make a decent amount in return if it went straight to vod not as much of course it would make if it went to theaters uh it'd be a severely high difference if it just went to theaters and another situation we could end up looking at is of course them pulling the plug the the what they could just end up doing if they are going to be pulling the plug if they want to play the part very very safe we could be looking at a situation where all we get is a teaser trailer all we get is a teaser trailer and if the plug has to be pulled they can pull the plug and we haven't seen too much of the movie not too much hype has been built around it other than the hype that we as fans and moviegoers are building for ourselves they can just pull the plug because at that point they wouldn't have had a full campaign up, up and going we just got a, a quick teaser to tease people that it's coming soon and then if the release date sticks with this uh, with this October 16th date, they can just put it out. If it if it gets pulled, they don't have too much to worry about because they didn't show too much to get audiences excited. They didn't have a full blown campaign like with A Quiet Place 2 and then having the whole thing ruined, not necessarily ruined or tarnished, but it's kind of like you, you're doing all this work for nothing. They don't want to end up in a situation like that because when A Quiet Place 2 got pulled, that was very gut-riching not only for the people involved with the film but of course us as fans who have been waiting to see a sequel to a quiet place since the original came out in 2018 so for all this hype and all this promotion that they have been doing to have the movie get pulled just when it was about to come out my i was actually scheduled to go see the movie that week when it got pulled i was gonna see the movie not that week but the week after I was gonna I was going to a a, a a press screening, a invite only press screening to see the movie before it was out to the general public. And I got the email that it had been pulled, it would no longer be getting released in theaters. Just very uh heartbreaking and very disappointing. And Universal, Blumhouse like they don't want to end up in a situation like that with Halloween and with Michael Myers. So they're probably gonna play it very safe if they do release anything. It'll be minuscule teasers, probably clips voiceovers like they did when they made that that announcement with the fact that we were getting back-to-back -back sequels they could do something again with that where it's just a very minuscule 30 minute or minute and 30 type of clip maybe something similar to what nia da costa just did with her Candyman movie we're not she that the the trailer that just the teaser trailer that just came out for that film is very brilliant very well done very well put together cinematography is amazing you don't see too much of the movie and I feel like what a lot of people are doing is they're coming up with more creative ways to promote their films. I, what I appreciate about this is it's a very creative way to promote your movie without showing too much of it, reminding us of the mythos of Candyman. And at the same time, you're not getting us all excited for a movie that might still get pulled from this September release date that it holds. Hopefully, Universal and Blumhouse can do something very similar with Halloween Kills, where we get a teaser trailer that is over two minutes or maybe a little over a minute and 30 seconds, where we are just re reinforced the idea of the character of Michael Myers. We have a voiceover from a certain character, from cast members, other people involved with the project to kind of just heighten the, ex heighten the uh, excitement. But not at the same time, it's a teaser that doesn't show too much for a movie that might get delayed again. But I'm still pretty certain this movie will come out in October. If anything, I don't think it'll get delayed. I think they might just settle for VOD. If they do delay it, so be it. I I do think that they, they would risk it with just putting it out on VOD because of the fact that even if the release date is secure, we still don't know if AMC or Regal Cinemas are going to be showing these movies. Now, in my honest opinion, they probably are because they can't afford those two theater chains cannot afford to not be showing movies right now. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.